Hello, this is the second video in the series about talking about how to create a website when you have your own domain um, and your own hosting so you can get email addresses like amir at mywebsite.com and also you get to install WordPress which gives you more control than what you get on wordpress.com so I had installed a WordPress through cPanel in the first video and this is my test site and I put wp-admin I hit enter I come back to my login which is the back end where you get to make changes and I'm gonna put my username and now I'm gonna put my password try to create a, a difficult password when you create it and even if you wanna change it you can change this later I hit login and now I am back into my dashboard and I'm also gonna open a new tab and also go to my actual website so this is what's called the front end of my website and this is the back end what is known as a dashboard so let's work through this step by step I'm gonna do a few videos to give you the big picture and all the things you need to do so the first thing right now my look is pretty simple so let me show you how to change that I can go to appearance themes and in this theme section, I'll see a lot of diff some of the themes already installed. So there are this one and there is this one installed. But you can click on install themes and you can search for things. If you had a one that you've bought, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes, you can upload the theme if you've already bought it. Now here, if I wanted, I could search by different criteria. Three columns, four columns, colors. I'll just leave it empty and I hit search. When you do that, you start seeing that there are these different looks for websites. Most of them are free. Some of them will be free at the basic level. And then some of them will make you pay for more. So you see there are lots and lots of themes that are free. So I'll try to pick something which will have like some kind of a header like that. Nothing too complicated at this point. So save this one. And I can hit install now. I've installed it and I can click activate. Activate means this should be my test site uh, theme. So I can click activate. Now this is activated. I'll come back to my tab where I have my website. That's why I like it because I can hit refresh. I'm using Google Chrome. You could use anything. Firefox will be better too. And you can hit F5 to refresh. So this is the new look of the website. Okay now I can start customizing it the background I can customize click on customize and I get this window here where I can customize the site tag which is going up here colors background image and things like that okay. you can do it from other places too now this theme comes with a startup option and they have some stuff that you can do. We'll try to come back to this a little bit later. Right now I want to talk about the real basics which is if I go to pages this is where you'll be adding the pages for your website. They also have a section called post. Post are things which you do for your blog so anything you wanted to talk about on a daily basis, weekly basis goes into the post. So here I want to create two new pages. So I click add new and I'll create a page called home and I can click on this button here so I see more options like fonts and things like that. So if you know Microsoft Word you'll be able to work with this. Okay, And you can insert pictures and things like that if I wanted to. You can upload it from your computer select files once you have it you'll see the files in your media library okay we'll look at that a little later now once you do that I also want to just click on the screen options and I'm gonna choose and say show me the custom fields and the discussions and if you wanted the other ones you can do that too and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to remove the check mark from the discussions. If you leave this check mark, it means people will be able to leave comments and messages on your home page, which you don't want to do. You'll have a special page for contact. 
And a lot of the themes that we've installed, they have different options where you can choose. Now, this may not be available everywhere, but I can have a sidebar on the left, no sidebar. So the things that show up on the left-hand side, or I can have something else. So I'll leave it as a default for now, and I can hit Publish. I'll click on Add New, and I'll create one for Blog. So all my blogs will go on this page. Whenever you put a post, it will come here, and I'll show you how. And uh, I can hit Publish. I'll click Add New for Contact. Okay. Now for this, I'll leave the discussions on so that people will be able to leave comments. And I can hit Publish. Okay. Now, when I come here, my first page is the blog page, and I don't want it to be like that. I want my first page to be my home page. So, I'll come back to my dashboard, settings, reading, and I'm going to change it to a static page. Front page will be my home, it could be anything, and my post page will be the blogs. And I can click save. Now, I come back to my front end I'll hit refresh so now you see my home page has showed up and this is the sidebar I was telling you on the right okay. and I want to go to this permalinks option and because I don't want my things to show up like this like .ca and things like that so I can actually change it to post name if you're going to be too, if you're not going to write too many blogs, you can do that, or you can do a custom structure where you can put like instead of post name, you can have like percentage, uh, month, and things like that. And I'll just show you quickly how to get this information. I can just go to Google and I can type WordPress permalinks and. Um, you can go here and there's a whole bunch of detail about what you can find and uh, you can figure out which kind of a permalinks that you want to use and you can type that in there if you want it you see percent year percent month number it just this will be more useful for your um, blog so that the blogs will have those information in front of it so what I'm going to do is for my permalink, I think I'm going to I just copied something that I had. I'm going to use this percent year slash percent month number percent day percent post name, and I can click save. Okay, and I'm just going to come to my blog and I'm going to hit refresh. Now what happens is when I go to contacts, so there is the contact us rather than a page ID blah 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 the slash. The sample page would be slash sample page. Okay, so this is the benefit of using those things. And I go to the blog page. I'll have the blog, which will be, there'll be a de default blog there that would have showed up called Hello World. And when I click it, it will be with the year, the month, the date, and then the Hello World come things like that. Okay, so that's the benefit of doing Parma links. Okay. And I think it's gone to the day and the name and then the sample post. So you don't have to do that. You can just choose the day and the name option. So we did two things here. We were in the reading and we set our home page to home. Okay. Now if you wanted to write post, you can go to the post section. I can delete this, trash it. And I can click add new. This is my first post. I click here. and I want to say add a media so I click add media I can click on select files now I can go to wherever my file is and upload the picture so I uploaded a sample picture and uh, you can put a title here caption description and what size do you want it to be medium or full size and I can click insert and the picture is inserted and you can also have categories so these are good when you start writing a lot and even if you don't write a lot it's good to have categories because it will help you to organize your post by certain categories and you can click add categories 
and say I want this to be uh, tag post and I can click add and it's a check mark on it so this would be a way or I can put January February March if you wanted to or something like that and now I just have to hit publish now I come back to my front end and click on blog now there's my first blog post I can go back and edit this blog click here choose this and I can put it in the center if I don't want it to be linked so people cannot link click on it if I wanted this to click somewhere else I can type a website address or I can say when you click there you go to the contact page that I have and I can click update and I click update again come back to my blog I hit refresh and there is the link when I click it it takes me to the contact page because I'm logged in here I don't see the option but I'll just show you I'm gonna copy this link and I'll open Internet Explorer just to show you because I'm logged into the dashboard I don't see it so here it will look like this Okay, I'll just minimize this. Okay. And you can click on adding more and more post by adding whenever you want to talk about something and you can go back and edit it or trash it. So that's all you have to do. You can go to pages, keep on adding pages, and you can keep on going to post to add post and you can always go back and edit things and delete stuff. Okay. So now let's just talk about the menu system because you see this on the top. I don't want it in this order. I want the home first and then the blog and things like that. So in the dashboard within appearance there is a menu system. So I can click it. There are a couple of ways of doing it. This is one way. And I'll create a new menu system. So I'll just call it default. Create. And now I can start adding. So I'll say add the home page, blog and the contact. I'll even add the sample page for now. Add to menu. Okay. Now I can hold this, move it up. I'll say sample page, move it up. And I could instead of sample page, I can say, you know what, this is services. The names are coming from the name of the page when we created it. I can hit save. So you can move things around. I can even move this up and down, change the name. I can even put a custom link say I wanted it to google.com or I wanted it to be my website main website so make sure you got the right website add to menu and I can just move it around so you can add a customized thing here I can hit save now I'm gonna tell the theme the look that this is my main menu now some of them will allow you to add more uh, different types of menus. You could have different menus, different places, but it all depends on the look, the theme that you have. And so I'll be at my default. This one will allow me to create different ones. And I can also say automatically add new top level pages. That means whenever I add a new page, it will automatically show up here if I wanted to do that. And I can hit save. And I can hit save here too just to be sure. Now I come to my website and I'm going to click on the word my blog. Now you see there's things here. Okay. Now within the menu system, if I wanted, I could take this uh, simple text, say for example, and I can move it up. And I can make the services underneath it. So I'm just dragging it and pulling it inside. So I can have like multiple pages like this and I can hit save and I come back to my blog click on the my blog or hit refresh so now simple tech there's a sub menu underneath it so it's that simple creating a sub menu okay now for uh, to make it a little proper sometimes so say if I had the sample page and I wanted to create like some services page underneath it or I had a services page under which I wanted to put stuff so I could make certain thing parent to somebody else so if I say for example click on add new and I click a page called services and I can make it 
sample page the parent so this will be like a child page and you can always go back and edit this link here you see this link I can click edit and I can change it to whatever I want it to be so now this sample page is the parent to this guy and I can click publish okay let's see if it added it automatically a lot of time it doesn't so it didn't add it so let's go back to appearance menu and I'll just bring this guy back, both of them. Okay. And I can scroll down and I can add the services page back up here. And I can just move it inside here and I'll call this guy back again, sample page, because that was the sample page originally. And I hit save and I'll come back and I hit refresh come on okay there it is sample page services okay so very easy to add your pages choose your menu system and you can add post now if I want I can go to widgets what are widgets? widgets are these things that are showing up on the side so right now it's all this information is coming in Okay, so you can change those. So if I go back to appearance and widgets there, now I can click here and I say, you know what, delete this. I don't want the search. Recent post is fine. I don't want the comments deleted. Uh, archives, which is like all your old posts, I'll say remove it. Categories, remove it. Meta, which is like the login information, I can remove that. So there is the sidebar widget area. Now if I wanted, I could take the calendar and I can drop it in here. And I can hit save. Okay. The same way there are options like left side widget area. If you had a, the default theme is only putting stuff on the right hand side. But if I had a page with the left sidebar, I can choose that. So if I now come back here, click on my blog. Now it's removed all the extra stuff. Okay, and the, the, they are always here. I can even take the pages, drop it in here, and menu. And you can exclude certain pages if I wanted to. Click Save, hit Refresh. So there are the pages from my website. And you see up here the services is automatically child of sample because I've set it like that. Okay. And there are other ways to make changes to this. Uh, there is the user section where this is my user account that I created. I can edit it to change my password. You can even add new users. So if you wanted somebody else to work on your website, you can create a user and make them like an administrator or editor or whatever was needed in this case. So in, this is a pretty good uh, amount of information talking about appearance, themes, pages, post, and in the next video I'll add some more elements to this.